marginal seats where just a few changed minds, of course, can tilt the balance at the ballot box. So let's go to Sky's political editor, Adam Bolton, in Birmingham, where, of course, it is David Cameron's big speech today. Yes, indeed, and uh, the theme of that big speech really is that David Cameron uh, owns the future, that we're going to get a Conservative government, and joining me now are two prospective parliamentary candidates who certainly hope uh, that the Conservatives own the future. They are Raymond Chishti, who is the candidate in Gillian and Raymond, perhaps the most marginal seat uh, in the country, and Louise Bagshaw, you probably know her name uh, from uh, uh, various uh, chiclet books, uh, she's uh, the candidate. Uh, in Corby and East Northamptonshire. Welcome to you both. And, and uh, Louise Bagshaw, is it going to be difficult today, given that there was meant to be a slight mood of celebration, that the mood of the country has changed so much with all these uh, financial collapses? It's quite a, quite a tight road to walk. Yes, it is. But I think you saw David Cameron responding to that yesterday. He's a politician that knows how to turn fast in response to events. He had a very statesmanlike intervention yesterday. And obviously, there was never going to be any triumphalism, but we realise that we're in the middle of a very serious crisis, and we take that seriously. So I think you'll see that from David today. How interesting. We all, we all remember New Labour. You're not calling yourselves New Conservatives, but just how new, in your view, are, are the Conservatives? Well, I think the Conservative Party has come a long way, actually, under David Cameron's leadership, and today you will see the character and judgement of David Cameron. And uh, I would say the party has come a long way. It's a compassionate party, and uh, it has got the solutions to problems that have been created by a Labour government over the last 10 years. And uh, if I can just say, actually, I was a, a Labour parliamentary candidate who fought France more than 2005. And, and I was inspired by D David Cameron. I was taken in by Tony Blair. No, inspired by France. So, well, I was inspired by David Cameron, and uh, and I fought a campaign against France and who was a formidable opponent. And uh, at the end of the day, I saw the light, and. Uh, and uh, as a repentant sinner. Yeah. And, what, and what, what has actually changed about the party? Or what, or what do you want people to draw from the conference, and particularly the leader's speech today, about what's changed, Louise? I think that we're the party of social justice now. We're the party of the environment. He showed great leadership um, in opposing the third runway for Heathrow, talking about a high-speed rail network. And what David Cameron's message is, is that Margaret Thatcher's revolution was for one age, when she fixed a broken economy. His intention is to fix a broken society. And he's optimistic about that. But he understands, he likes Britain as it is, but he sees the things that need changing. But, but don't you really believe in people standing on their own two feet a bit more than uh, uh, the socialists and, and, and people taking responsibility for their own actions, which, which can't really go with compassion? I think it's about individual responsibility, and people don't want this top-down society, actually. They don't want a nanny state, and the people I speak to in Gillingham and Raynham, they, they don't want uh, a state where if you work hard, you get hit the hardest, actually, and that's what we've had under, under a Labour government. So they're very much like David Cameron's ideas, actually, about supporting the family, giving individual responsibility to people, and cutting out the bureaucracy, actually. And yesterday we saw with Dominic Grieve, actually, with regards to policing, there's too much bureaucracy. We've got the Health and Safety Act in 1974, which ties the police's hand, rather than allowing police officers to go out and be on the beat and, and do proper policing. So what, what do you say to no time for a novice, this, this line? I mean, you, you'd both be novice MPs, no time for you then. Well, I think it's no time for a novice leader, and let's not forget that Gordon Brown is a novice leader of the Labour Party. David Cameron's been in charge of his party for a lot longer, and I think that shows. You're talking about people standing on their own two feet. You have to look at the abolition of the 10p tax rate. Um, I think that we're the compassionate party under David Cameron. He's got the experience. He proved that yesterday with his intervention. And I think people can see the results of Gordon Brown's leadership. And your vote is ready to take a gamble of changing. I, I think they, they want change, actually. I think what they want to look at is they want to look at Brown's record, actually. In terms of the budgetary debts that we find ourselves in, actually, one of the worst ever in terms of personal debt since 1997. And looking at the framework which was put into place by Gordon Brown in 1997, you put that to one side and you look at, you know, change which David Cameron is proposing. And the voters which I saw on Saturday before I came here to party conference, you know, they said to me, Cameron is providing a refreshing change. You know, I didn't vote uh, Conservative before, but this time I'll vote for you. So the message is getting out there, the message is quite clear. And as Louise was saying, yesterday we saw David Cameron as someone who's got the character, the judgment, put aside party differences and say, at this time, I'd work with the government, because at the end of the day, we need to ensure that the taxpayers, you know, their money, who worked so hard for it, is saved. That's why the 50,000 threshold that's coming by the government, we were fully supported, and David Cameron is a true statesman. But this is a party conference, and in the end, what you're saying is vote for us rather than vote for the other lot. So how does he, how does he strike that balance? And what was going to be a little bit of a triumphal event with all you parading around on the stage? And, it's never uh, going to be triumphal. If we were triumphal, we'd be take out the back and shot. Uh, I think that message came down very clearly from Cameron's leadership. 
But what he's going to do is saying we're going to work with the government. That is setting aside party political differences. It doesn't mean we're going to pretend that we're not in this mess because of Gordon Brown. The question David Cameron has to address is how we're going to get out of it. And I think you'll see a very forward-looking, very futuristic speech from him today. So what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for you know, the continuation of what David Cameron has offered since he became party leader, actually. That you know, aspiration, hope and opportunity to vast many who have been badly let down by this Labour government. Well, thank you both very much indeed. Uh, and that speech, I think, is coming out just before 3 o'clock this afternoon, of course, live coverage uh, on Sky News. Back to you, Dermot. So, yes, OK.